Welcome back. Well, let's take a look at today's trending stories. Uh -huh. It's time for Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. All right, starting us off on a somber tone, Helen Reddy, who shot to stardom in the 1970s with her feminist anthem, I Am Woman, has died. Reddy's 1971 version of I Don't Know How to Love Him from the musical Jesus Christ Superstar launched a decade-long string of top 40 hits, three of which reached number one. And in 1973, she won the Best Female Vocal Pop Performance Grammy Award for I Am Woman. It would become her biggest hit, used in films and television series. Reddy's death comes less than three weeks after the release of a biopic about her life, also entitled I Am Woman. She was 78 years old. I do have to say I've been streaming her music since this news uh, broke, uh -huh. and I recognize a lot of her songs. She sang on the soundtrack to um, the Disney, the first Disney Pete's Dragon movie. Do you remember oh, that animated yes. thing? Yes, yes she I did. sang on that. So anyway, I've, I've been listening to her for years and I didn't really put the name with the, her music. Yes. Now I know. I've been singing I Am Woman oh, so all good. morning long. So all good. morning long. It's, it's been that earworm, but a good one. Yes, definitely absolutely a good, a good one. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a new push to shop safe and early for the holidays because here we are. We're here. Holiday season I pretty much. I mean, it. pretty much once uh, fall gets here, it's like Merry Christmas. Yeah, uh, that's so true. <laughs> the folks at the National Retail Federation, they want to help you shop safely during the pandemic, of course. So they're asking you to shop early and avoid last minute crowds, launching an ad campaign on social media, TV, and radio. Online shoppers are also asked to buy early this year to avoid last minute shopping uh, surge and shipping chaos. I will tell you, as mm -hmm. I've said before, I am a, la a last minute shopper. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible at it. Yeah. Do you think there'll be any improvement? Improvement this year or no <laughs> just let's be honest yeah that's no. good that's good <laughs> I, I think we are starting to make lists but it's like we have to wade through so many things to get to Christmas right we got to go through got Halloween happening of course you have Thanksgiving happening <laughs> right. so I don't know I don't know I agree with you it's hard yeah, to plan was... early <laughs> here's something I can plan early about beer and chocolate and beer lovers Ooh. rejoice yeah. because a sweet treat is returning Yingling and a Hershey's Chocolate Porter is back for a limited time after debuting last year. So this year's beer comes in drafts and bottles and it's sold in 22 states. That's up from just 14 states in 2019. The Chocolate Porter will be available through all the way through Valentine's Day, another holiday we mm -hmm. can talk about. So yeah, chocolate and a little yeah. alcohol in there, Yingling, I love their beer, that's good stuff. Yeah, I can dig a little uh, chocolate and a little beer. Yeah. Crisis Brewing Company locally you know they have yes. their black is beautiful beer and it does have some chocolate notes in it um, I don't know if it's as stout as um, this one is that one I can dig it yeah you yeah. can dig it you can dig it for a little bit <laughs> all right now let's switch it up to some movie news yes Ooh, love, love excited it excited about this one bloom house is putting a spell on you this Halloween here is a look at the official trailer for the craft legacy now it's a continuation of the 1996 film the craft legacy welcomes a new coven of course Ooh. Yes, <laughs> coming together, losing control, of course, of their newfound power. Uh, the new little witches include Kaylee Spaney, uh, Gideon Aldon, Liddy, uh, Lovey Simone, my girl from Greenleaf, <laughs> um, and Zoe Luna. It also stars Michelle Monaghan and David Duchovny. Yes. I'm excited to see this one. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I posted all my stories and a lot of my friends were like, yes, cannot wait to yes. see this one. So, to see I'm if you, you are as light as a feather or stiff as a board, tune in on October 28th because that's when it hits on demand. I like that. You know, I am all, I'm here for vampire movies. Uh, I'm same. all in yeah. for that. I, I've lost my infatuation with zombie movies. I feel like, I don't know, I, I'm not into that anymore. But but um, vampires, I'm all there. I'm here for all things scary, witches, zombies, uh, vampires. I'm it here for all things spooky. It is the yeah. time of year for uh, all of that. Um, Check it out. Filmmaker David E. Talbert wants to make sure you have a holly jolly mm -hmm. Christmas. Here are some first look pictures from his Netflix film, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. The film stars Forrest Whitaker, uh, Felicia Rashad, just to name a few. Uh, it follows toy maker Jeronicus Jangle and his granddaughter as they try to find a prized creation that was stolen. Okay. It's Netflix's first original live action musical. The film will also feature original music by none other than John Legend. Legend, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey will debut on November 13th. You've got plenty of time to watch that mm -hmm. uh, in the lead up to the holiday season. Super excited about this one. I love David E. Talbert from his stage play days. Yes. Looking on. forward to this one. It looks beautiful and it's 
Instagram post, he said this has been 20 years in the making. So excited about this one. Yeah, All same. Right. We're going to keep talking movies. We'll be right back with more Good Day in WA. I saw another one called Holiday.